he so uh I also did week one day one of couch to 5k you just have to see this sunset right now and it's not even coming across Gorgeous. Okay, so I did um, week one, day one of Couch to 5K, um, which is my second time of doing it. My Achilles tendon really is hurting right now. Um, but the workout was all upper body, so that's not it. My foot's been kind of hurting for a couple days now. Um, I think it might be the bursitis a bit. And, yeah, it's pretty sore in the morning, so I think it's also a bit of plantar fasciitis. So when you wake up after you've been sitting and you just, you have to loosen all your tendons back up again. Pretty intense. And then bursitis is, for me, kind of like that too. But anyway, so I did couch to 5K. It didn't even see the location on my phone, so it didn't log my distance. So I don't know how far I ran. I did. I was running on lane 7. And I did. 3. I think 3.5 three laps. In 25 minutes. Um, yeah. And part of that. I, I ended up walking back to the car for the cool down instead of finishing I probably could have gotten maybe like f maybe five laps so a mile and a half ish plus lane seven which I think is even further than a full mile like it's longer for the four laps um I don't know <sighs> we'll see if it'll work next time that I go and run um not feeling terrible feeling hungry. So I'm gonna, I picked some blueberries and gooseberries when I got home. They're not super duper on plan because they're kind of high on carbohydrates, but they're delicious. So I had some, there's a container I used. Oh, so dark, so dark. What's going on now? Um, I used, yeah, there it is, the container I brought my avocado to work in. Because I had it on me, and so I just picked blueberries back in the dark. Because electricity. But these things are pretty good. These, these gooseberries aren't my gooseberries. These gooseberries are my aunt's gooseberries. Whoa, I collected some ants, too. And, I don't know, my gooseberries are much better, but these were out by the blueberries. Ugh. So many bits to remove. They're sour. I remember as a kid liking them because they were like, the weird sour fruit melons. And blueberries. Mmm. So, food-wise, what I ate today was pretty good. I had, I didn't eat, um, a breakfast, which, I don't know. I got hungry pretty quick, um, into my shift. So, by, uh, 10.30, I was super ready for my head of romaine lettuce. Um, then I had romaine lettuce for snack. I had, I had 200 grams of veggies. So it was the veggies. Oh, I guess I didn't post the video. The video that I made of food prepping didn't come out very well. Um, so cauliflower. I had a random turnip that my aunt gave me. It's the ones that's purple and white. And then you peel them and they're just white. 
um, and some carrots, and I diced them all up and put them, um, seasoning and oil, and put them in a pan and stuck them in my toasterizer oven, because I don't have a real oven, in case you're new to my channel. Um, and then I also roast a piece of pork, and then just seasoning, lots of salt, because keto. Um, and then I put, I drizzled that with oil, and then put the, this one's been eaten by a bird. I don't know if you can even see that. Nope. Oh, well. Bird and I, we're spit brothers now. Ooh, tastes a little weird. Um, so I just put some oil on the pork roast. It was one of the pork roasts that I got in my grocery haul. Stupid expensive grocery haul. It was like that $5 chunk of meat. But it's like a week worth, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I just put oil on it and put salt and pepper, garlic powder, adobo seasoning. I'm looking at my seasonings right here and see. Oh, uh, and a bit of smoked paprika. It's pretty good. Pretty delicious. And I didn't overcook it. Because it's still really moist. Well, I mean, it's chewable, but it's not like stuck in your teeth chewable. But, I don't know. Whatever. It's food. Get in my belly. Um, and I also roasted up that sweet potato that I had. I put olive oil and salt. I don't think I put salt. Uh, olive oil, adobo seasoning, and some black pepper. And I think a little bit of extra garlic powder. Adobo is, um, I don't know. People eat that, right? This is the one that I have. Goya. It's um, salt, cumin, some anti-caking agent. Uh, garlic, black pepper, oregano, and turmeric. Turmeric? How does that have turmeric in it? We can't even see it turn yellow. Must be fake. Fake turmeric. I'm joking. <laughs> um, but it's, it's okay. There's a lot of salt. It's, um, I'm not a salt eater. Not really, really. I have to make myself eat the salt. So, I don't know. Hence the salty pork. But, so for lunch, um, I measured out 150 grams of the veggies, which is the cauliflower, some carrots, and that turnip. They're all mixed together, so I just scooped them out and pulled a piece to finish it off. Um, one round of, I think it might have been 130 one round of my sweet potato, and that was about 50 grams, and then, and then I put pork in, and that brought it up to three. So I think the sweet potato might have even have been 75 grams of sweet potato. I don't know. I should probably write this stuff down if I'm going to be really big on it. Not going to be really big on it. I'm uh, more just kind of getting used to eating the right ingredients. And then, before I did my workout, I had my avocado at about almost 4 o'clock. I did my workout at 5. Um, water drink water yeah and that's pretty much what I had and then there's these Zoozleberries. probably gonna eat a little bit of chicken um not too much because everything that I'm reading says that protein is a little bit hard to digest when you're sleeping carbohydrates are quite a bit easier to, for your body to do things with. Otherwise, you just have stuff sitting in your belly. 
So, um, it's a little bit blue. Mm. Gooseberries are bomb diggity. I wonder what their macros are. What are your net carbs? Things to look up. Um, and then more diet stuff. Ran out of milk. My half and half went chunky, so I gave it to the dog. It would have been fine in hot coffee, but I'm not drinking hot coffee right now. Um, so I just gave it to the dog. I used up the last of my cheese this weekend on some broccoli. I'm going to have a little bit of Parmesan, but it doesn't take much of that to give it flavor, so I'm almost not counting that. And then all that I have left for dairy is a block of cheese, and then I'm going to move to ghee. See about making my own clarified butter. I don't know if it's very hard. If it's worth it. With the price difference between buying a jug of ghee every couple weeks versus buying a stick of butter and clarifying it. How much of the milk protein really makes up the butter. Oh, it wasn't an ant. It's a spider. It's a spider in my blueberries. Mmm, protein. I'm joking. I'll let it go. I'll put it in my plants and it can hang out with my ant friends. Um... Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at with that dairy stuff. Um, Saturday we had a big town party. My town of like 4,000 people. We call it Summer Celebration. And we went, there was like music, arts and craft, um, craft and art vendors, um, foods, mostly music. And uh, I went to a couple of the venues down there. I had uh, ended up starting off with a bratwurst. Like a venison bratwurst wrapped in bacon. Smoked over apple. And then it had like a bun. And I ate the bun because I was hungry. Um, so that was the beginning of the end for Saturday. And then I what else did I do? That was when oh then I ran into a friend, coworker. We went and had a beer and talked about shop and talked about his vacation that he went on. It was kinda cool. But then I had a beer. Um and then had some ice cream. In a bowl, not on a cone. Then I had another beer. Then I had two hard ciders. And I danced. And then we went and had more hard cider. But, um, Saturday was kind of a bust. But it was fun. And I reconnected with people. Because I haven't had a social life. Because budgeting. Uh... But that kind of brought up a few things for me of um, things that I value. And being able to hang out with people is something that I value. So I think I'm going to have to come up with um, maybe a budget line for, I don't know. I don't know. How do you hate internet? How do you socialize with people without drinking while you're gluten and dairy free? And then preferably preservative free and all the other things that people want to be free from. How do you do it? I mean, like, I'm in Portland, which is like Portland, Oregon. That's like hippies and hipsters. You could eat, like, only vegan fed beef. <laughs> That's probably a thing somewhere. Um, I don't know. But then also not have it cost an arm and a leg. I guess the other thing to do would be just invite people over and feed them. 
I don't know. I don't know that I have a sparkly enough personality to keep people entertained. Um, yeah, since it's going on in my life, it's Monday. I have just, like, blown through this. I probably should have weighed it just so that I knew how many blueberries, how many carbs and stuff are in blueberries. How many net carbs. And these are good blueberries. We don't spray our blueberries, so... If anything, they're better than normal blueberries. Grown with our own compost. Because <sighs> blueberries. Um, cool. Oh, I think it just squirted me. Chewed off all my fingernails. Makes doing things hard. Anyway, alright. We're at 16 minutes. I'm going to cut this short because nobody watches past 5 minutes anyway. Hey, if you're still watching this, let me know. I'll be surprised if anybody's watching it past 5 minutes. <sighs> Alright. Time to eat a little bit of chicken and go to bed. Ooh, shower. I should probably take a shower in there too. Yes. And more water. Yeah. Water, chicken, shower, water, bed. Sounds good. Mm. Maybe in a leaf. Yeah. Probably most likely in a leaf. Alright. Night, folks.